In today's fiercely competitive automotive world, simply getting a buyer's attention is tough. Six years ago, Hyundai figured a 10-year warranty wasn't enough and adapted daring design, the Elantra getting the swoopiest lines of the bunch. The gamble now? Uh, toning those curves down. Meet the new, more mature 2017 model. Now, of course, you're going to cross shop because intelligent people always do. That means you're probably looking at cars like Civic, Cruze, Corolla, Mazda 3, Focus, Jetta, Sentra. So many cars in this segment. And many have grown up. Like Corolla and Civic, the EPA classifies Elantra's cabin volume as a midsize. Uh, that's about as large as a BMW 3 Series. Materials look and feel good in class, don't? expect soft materials everywhere. This limited model that will set you back about $27,700 has stuff found only on luxury cars 10 years ago, including blind spot warning and adaptive cruise control. Also, this Elantra is equipped with an auto braking system that detects pedestrians. And some of you have written to ask why I don't demonstrate that. Well, I invite you to come and stand in front of the car right after you sign the release forms. As for driving dynamics, Hyundai engineers have done an awful lot to improve the ride quality. It's very comfortable, not sporty like Mazda 3 and maybe Honda Civic, but nicely done. Body movements are very well controlled. The outgoing car's steering rack was the very inspiration for Novocaine. This one offers feedback. Here's what makes it go, a 147 horsepower, two liter, four cylinder. Connecting it to the front wheels is a six-speed gearbox with a manual mode, uh, just not up here on the steering wheel. Set the steering weight and throttle response to suit your mood. Eager to hit 60 miles an hour? That will take about eight seconds, brisk at best. In the outgoing model, if I were talking to you about road noise or anything really, I'd have to do this. The new generation is much quieter. Half the structure is stamped out of high-strength steel. Some 390 feet of adhesive stiffens it further. Yes, folks, it's glued and welded. Uh, that's a good thing. For better fuel efficiency, a lot of modern automatic transmissions are reluctant to kick down into a lower gear. Elantra, happy to do it. In a week of driving, I averaged about 32 miles from each gallon of gas. It's worth noting that visibility is decent and that Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are available. Also, the Lane Keep Assist system is well executed. Memory seats, nice. So are lots of storage cubbies. The sun visors are well thought out. And Elantra is available with a proximity trunk release that opens automatically if you just stand next to it for a few seconds. Space is not an issue back here. Two adults will be perfectly comfortable. Three will be okay if they're skinny. Haul car seats in and out often. Wide opening doors cooperate. I'm not sure why Hyundai couldn't put a pocket on the driver's chair or throw in a power port. I recently tested the new Honda Civic that easily swallows six packs of this stuff. You can practically cut the suspense with a knife, can't you? Yes, the seats do this. Yes, there is a spare. And yes, the trunk is very large. In my practical real world test, it matches the Honda at six packs when the hinge arms do not pinch the cargo. These crisp lines appear more elegant and upscale than the outgoing car, something the larger Sonata didn't quite pull off as well. It may be less emotional to the eye now, but the new Elantra's comfort and refinement is worth a shopper's attention in this crowded segment. For enthusiasts, rumor has it there's a sport model coming, perhaps enough sport to go head to head with Civic SI and Focus ST. Who knows? Fingers crossed. As it stands, Elantra is certainly a very strong competitor to Corolla and Civic. I have not driven the new Chevy Cruze at this point. There are rumblings that it's very good, but I try not to read other people's reviews to keep a fresh perspective. So remember, test drive people. A final thought, considering all the features available and the roominess some compacts offer, smart mid-sized sedan shoppers 
might peruse this segment too. Well, there you are. That is my take on the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. Hope you found it informative, clever, witty, at least informative, hopefully in focus. <laughs> That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.